Still trying to get bundled up. It's cold this afternoon. Low 30s. Wind's blowing. They're down there. They're locked in on that corn pretty good. I, they're cold. I imagine they're on the eat. Gotta get them separated. And that bigger doe's going in the back of the truck. gonna give her some time it's plenty cold enough may even leave her overnight I don't know may go down to dark and look for some blood but it's early sit here see if maybe a hog comes out and send another one burn some more powder so I went back looked at the footage thinking hey maybe I'll be able to see where the shot was on that deer but this yo-yo went and forgot to set the tripod and tighten it once I got it on the deer. And when the gun went off, the camera went straight down. Great footage of some grass. So I shoot this doe, right? It runs off, doesn't even fall down, looks like it's hit. I couldn't tell, couldn't find any blood. Well, I couldn't see any blood from looking at it through the scope. And she runs off and goes around cedar trees. But little did I know, John, over 400 yards away, was videotaping me and he actually got the shot on camera and he sent me a text saying man that was a solid hit so we went back and we looked at we watched his footage and you can actually hear the bullet hit the deer before the rifle goes off and that is a good sound so y'all listen to this mm, mm. ain't that a good sound man that's music to my ears right there Let's roll that one more time. And one hit the dirt she rolled or he rolled I'm not sure which one it was got one of the black ones <sighs> went right behind the trees there so I don't I don't know if it ran off or if it's laying back behind the cedars man that was exciting right there well, as you can see we recovered her about 230 yard shot model 12 Savage 6.5 Creedmoor just made a heck of a blood trail couldn't ask for better so we're gonna get her back to camp, get her skinned out, and get her get her chilling tonight. So uh, pork chops down tonight, baby. The powder's still burning. Thank you very much, sweetheart. All right. Well, the recovery went well. We're two for two.
This is the doe that came out early. I mean, as soon as I got in the stand, she was walking down directly where she ran off to. And uh, finally gave me a good shot. She had that little one with her for a little while. Had to wait a minute, but uh, man, couldn't ask for better. This is a big old freezer queen. I sure do thank you, lady. And uh, if you ever wanna know what the uh, 140 grain, 147 grain ELD match bullet can do to them, here's what's left of her lungs. I mean, it just plumb blew them out. We had a good blood trail. Started out a little small, but man, it picked up and she didn't go 50 yards. So we're gonna get her back to camp, get the tag on her, get her chilling right next to the piggy. Powder's burning, baby. Just received a text from John, and uh, he did just get a doe. So I'm uh, gonna wait and see if he's gonna sit till dark, see if anything else comes out, or if he wants to go ahead and go ahead and take care of her. Then uh, I'll go ahead and pack up and do that. But for now, I'm gonna sit tight and see if anything else shows up. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up. John says he's ready to go ahead and take that doe back, get her gutted and skinned out and chilling. So I'm gonna go back and grab the car, the critter get her, and then uh, go meet John do the recovery so uh powder still burning out here it's been pretty good the past couple days hey thanks for watching and uh, we're gonna see y'all next time hopefully we'll be burning some more powder when we get back out to the ranch